Causeway Enclosures During the early Neolithic, an extraordinary phenomenon of constructing enclosed sites occurred in Europe within a short period of time. These ancient monuments have become known as causewayed enclosures and have been discovered near rivers and upland areas where their builders utilise topographical features. They are diverse in form and can consist of full or semi-enclosed sites. Most are oval or near circular in plan with single or multiple circuits of discontinuous banks and ditches enclosing areas of up to 10 hectares. Their use and function are complex and often difficult for archaeologists to interpret, with archaeological evidence suggesting a variety of activity ranging from religious to defensive. Over 100 are known in Europe and approximately 80 have been discovered within the United Kingdom, predominantly on the Chalkland Hills of southern England. They appear to have originated on mainland Europe, spreading through France, Germany and Scandinavia. The concept was then transmitted by sea to Ireland and southeast England at a time when animals were first being domesticated and agriculture was being introduced. Pottery was being manufactured and stone was being quarried en masse for the production of axes. As this mobile society was slowly evolving into a more sedentary lifestyle, the landscape was being manipulated for cultivation and by the construction of longhouses, cursus monuments and long barrows. In England, causewayed enclosures were constructed in a short period between 3800 and 3500 BCE. Some were used at a single occasion and demolished after use, while others were used for several generations and reorganised with each visit. What remains today are unimpressive, but at the time ditches were dug and the excavated material was piled on the inside to make a bank, which was sometimes palisaded with timber with gated entrances. Enclosures were essentially a physical and psychological statement of power, creating a distinction between inside and outside, what is private and what is public. The skills and labour facilitated to create these enclosures would have required a form of hierarchical control and system of inheritance. Causewayed enclosures have produced impressive examples of the material culture from Neolithic society, which provide evidence of established communities and their activities. Archaeological remains suggest that most sites were visited seasonally, while some have evidence of permanent occupation. High quantities of animal bone and discarded pottery and broken quernstones indicate that large-scale feasting was taking place. The presence of objects such as shellfish, stone axes and pottery from different regions suggests movement of people and the trade and exchange of commodities. Evidence of cattle herding has led to some causeway enclosures to be interpreted as refuge for cattle and places for breeding, castration and the collection of manure. The careful deposition of prestigious objects, such as whole vessels, polished axes, stone rubbers, carved chalk objects and human and animal skulls, indicate religious and cultural practices were taking place. This is also supported by enclosures which seem to have been associated to contemporary long barrows, such as at Hambledon Hill in Dorset and Wimmel Hill near Avebury. It has been suggested that enclosures where large amounts of scattered human skeletal debris were present were used as excarnation sites where human bones were naturally defleshed by exposure and later placed within the barrows. A prosperous enclosure at Cambrea in Cornwall positioned within a hard rock environment appears to have been used as a defensive site. Stone arrowheads spread across the site and predominantly around the entranceway provide evidence of an attack, with the entranceway destroyed before the site was burnt down, never to be reoccupied. Long after being abandoned, certain Neolithic enclosures were chosen and reorganised as sites for Bronze Age barrows, possibly indicating an association with ancestry. What has survived the archaeological record shows that causewayed enclosures were built and used for diverse reasons, mostly visited at certain points within the year, possibly as neutral locations, where dispersed social groups could meet to reaffirm their sense of community through a range of activities, such as craft, trade and exchange, feasting, celebration, ceremonies and the performance of customs associated with death. Neolithic causewayed enclosures represent a period of moving people and changing ideas. They not only influence the landscape, but also the lives of future generations. Thank you for watching this video by Simple Archaeology. Please subscribe for future archaeological random topics.